For 47 years, the Herbewi company in Hebron has been weaving the fabric of Palestinian identity. Each traditional Palestinian scarf, or kafeya as it is known in Arabic, has been lovingly cared for by hand. And that's because for Yasser Herbawi, each kafeya isn't just a scarf. My factory produces a national symbol. That's the importance of it on a national level, he tells me. Traditionally worn by farm workers, it became synonymous with the quest for Arab independence from colonial rule dating back decades. Its black and white design gained prominence as the symbol for the Palestinian liberation struggle in the 1960s. The late Palestinian president Yasser Arafat was rarely seen without the knotted kafeya draped over his head and shoulders. Today, the scarf is more than a Palestinian emblem. From American rapper Kanye West to the runways of Paris, the kafeya has become a controversial fashion item the world over worn by artists, activists and designers. Ironically, the symbols of the Palestinian struggle for freedom that so many tourists come to the old city to buy here in shops in Jerusalem aren't actually made in Palestine, they are made in China. And that is threatening the local industry here. Yes, at Herbawi once employed 25 workers almost 20 hours a day. His 15 machines cranked out thousands of kafeyas per year. Today, only a few machines are operational and one employee watches over them. Our kafeya is of a better quality and more beautiful than the ones imported, he says. But unfortunately, everything that comes from the outside is more attractive to the local market. More attractive because they are nearly 40% cheaper to buy. The Palestinian Authority can't prevent the dumping of Chinese-made goods because it is dependent on international financial assistance that regulates the opening of Palestinian markets to outside goods. Back in his factory, Yasser Herbawi is adding a colorful twist to his traditional look. It's his way of meeting the new demand of tourists more interested in a fashion garment than an iconic symbol. His biggest fear, though, is not shutting down his business, something he says he'll never do, but for future generations of Palestinians to lose a viable symbol of their national struggle. Ayman Mohideen Al Jazeera in the West Bank.